Hello everybody, it's Math Dominus, and today we're going to be talking about the Huckerdo family from SML. I had no idea who these characters are when I got back into SML. I didn't get back into SML until somewhere around August of 2023, but by then the Huckerdoos were introduced in April of 2023, around the time the Super Mario Bros. movie came out. So yeah, I had no idea who these characters were, and so when I got back into SML and they were just casually thrown in the videos, I was like, who are you people? Since when were you a thing? <laughs> but now I officially know who they are because I went back and watched those Hucker Do videos. Now I know sometimes they would appear as side characters in other videos, but I mainly watch the videos where the Hucker Do's were the central focus, so I can get to know these characters a bit, because I was planning on making a video on them since everybody suggested that I do that, so I watched those videos, and then I noticed a big problem. And no, it's not that Timothy just becomes a gay stereotype of character. Even though that is one of the problems with the Huckerdo family. But the problem with the Huckerdo family that I realized is... They're kind of a missed opportunity. Yeah, let me explain. The Huckerdoos were introduced in the video, The Huckerdoos, obviously. This was their debut video where he got introduced to the family. They were Marvin's new neighbors, consisting of Hank, Suzanne, Susie, and Timmy. According to the SML wiki, it speculates that the reason Logan created these characters were to be sort of a parody of his own neighbors because he doesn't like it when people make noises outside of his house while he's filming and that makes sense because then you would hear it in the background. However, this is only speculation, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. The Huggadoos are kind of like a stereotypical 1950s perfect nuclear family type of thing. You know, the whole dad goes to the work and he provides for the family, while the mom stays home and cooks and keeps the house titty, you know, that kind of nuclear family. And the children... Actually, what do the children do? Uh, jobless little cunts. But anyways, the point is the Huckerdo family is basically the perfect family. Your average stereotypical American family that is just perfect in every way, except that's not really the case. In the video, the parents are way too strict on their children, having unrealistic high expectations for them to be perfect in every way, and Hank can come across as an abusive jerk to not just his kids, but to his wife. Hank certainly can come across as a nice guy when you're talking to him, but deep down, he is just an absolute jerk to everyone around him. So much so that Suzanne actually wants to cheat on Hank with Marvin of all people, just because she feels like Marvin is a much better man than Hank, which, I mean, I guess relatively speaking, Marvin is a better man. Even the children hate their perfect little lives because they have to follow such strict rules that they have little to no fun. Suffice to say, this family is not so perfect. The children are depressed, Suzanne is in a loveless marriage to the point he wants to cheat on Hank with Marvin, and Hank is a serial cheater who's basically a jerk to everyone. So, yeah, you might think I'm complaining about how dysfunctional this family is, but you know what? I'm not complaining about that. The concept of the Hunkerdo family playing as this perfect American family, but deep down it's actually a very dysfunctional one, is actually a really good concept for videos. When the Hunkerdoos were introduced, they were introduced as the neighbors of Marvin, and Hank was kind of set up to be Marvin's rival in a way. Because Hank brags about how perfect his life is and his family, while Marvin is not as good as him. This actually works as a conflict for future videos because, well, Marvin actually has a rival now. Now, so there could be a lot of videos where Hank and Marvin basically compete to see who's the better family. Kind of like how you have Homer Simpson and Ned Flanders. Or Timmy's dad from the Fairly Odd Parents and Dinko Berg. <clears throat> you get my point. Marvin and Hank were set up to be potential rivals to each other for future videos to see who is the better family. And because the Hunker Dudes are not the perfect family, it can show that Marvin's family is way better than them because they may not be perfect, but at least they love each other and aren't dysfunctional. But you can see the problem with that already. Marvin's family is just as dysfunctional as the Hunker Dudes. Rose is an annoying character that always takes Jeffy's side, but you already know that. And Jeffy can be a hit or miss character to Marvin. So already, the rivalry kind of falls apart because the whole point of the rivalry is that one character clearly does something better than the other, which is supposed to push the other rival to do better. But when both rivals equally suck, it's just not that interesting. The Huckerdo family being a dysfunctional family while trying to pose as the perfect family could have served as a great contrast to Marvin's family 
if it weren't for the fact that Marvin's family can just be as dysfunctional as them. Now granted, Hank can be more of a jerk than Marvin, but my point still stands. How can these two be rivals if there's nothing for them to do better at? And I think Logan kind of realizes too, because in future videos such as The Neighborhood Watch, Marvin and Hank actually work together. They're more like friends than actual enemies. And that's just a huge wasted opportunity there. You could have had the Hucker Deuce be the antagonist family to the Marvin family, but instead, we just got another group of characters that are just kind of there because you need more characters so it doesn't feel like there's only a couple of voice actors in this world. I don't know. It's just really disappointing because I feel like the Hucker Doos could have done more for the videos. They could have been something more, but instead, they're really not. Everything is just kind of a missed opportunity. For example, in Marvin the Pool Boy, Suzanne wants to cheat on Marvin because her husband is just an absolute jerk who doesn't love her. Can you imagine if this was an overarching story? Bear with me for a second because I think this could actually work as an overarching narrative told throughout multiple videos and some serious drama and character development could occur. My idea is that Rose has been such a bad wife towards Marvin and he's so stressed out that when Suzanne comes on to him, they actually cheat. Marvin commits infidelity because he finally feels like he's been loved for once. Suzanne as well because Hank treats her as nothing but a piece of meat. So Marvin and Suzanne's affair goes on for a while but then Rose discovers that Marvin has been cheating on her and while she's initially mad, Marvin finally lashes out at her and tells her how she's been a very bad wife and he just needs to feel love for once so that's why he cheat on her with Suzanne. Now Marvin isn't in the right here because he obviously still cheated on Rose but Rose then does a double take on herself. She realizes that she is ruining her marriage with Marvin by being an absolute bitch towards him which led to Marvin seeking validation from somewhere else. This could lead to Rose's character development where she realizes she has wronged Marvin and that while he isn't in the right, she can see why Marvin cheated on her and so they work together to try and repair their marriage. That's my idea for this kind of romantic drama arc that could have been interesting if Logan was smart enough to come up with it on his own. Not only would it have forced Rose to get some character development, but we can also see that Marvin isn't a perfect human being and show more depth to his character along with Suzanne, Hank's wife. In Instead of an interesting overarching narrative that utilizes the Hucker Doos, instead we get a one-off video where the conflict of this nature gets resolved rather quickly. Huh. How is it that I'm able to come up with better ideas than Logan- Oh yeah, because of the three video a week schedule. Yeah, I can't exactly blame him, but that is exactly why you might have to tone it down a bit. But like the example I gave you guys, the Hukkadu family could have been used for so many things for SML videos. They could have been so much more interesting if they were utilized the right way, but they're not really utilized the right way. They're just kind of characters that exist because Marvin just need to have neighbors. Why not have these neighbors be rivals to them? There are a lot of ideas that you can do with the Hucker Deuce for SML videos and like I said, it's all just kind of wasted because the Hucker Deuce don't really do much in these videos. They're just there to have another set of characters. Most likely just to sell these on SMLmerch.com. But you know what the worst part about all of this is? Back in the day, we used to complain about SML videos just having a lack of variety of characters. It was always the same set of characters interacting with each other with no unique character combinations. Like, it was always Mario, Rosalina, and Jeffy interacting with each other, and Bowser Jr., Joseph, and Cody interacting with each other. And there was no random character combinations like Junior never met Mario, Shrek never met Cody, Black Yoshi never meets Jeffy. Well, he did, but, you know, it was kind of rare. Woody never meets Joseph. You get the idea. Back Back in the day, character combinations and variety was extremely sparse, but now we're living in the SML area where there's a lot of new characters. There's a lot of different variety and interactions with these characters, and yet... It's not really being utilized to its full potential. All of these characters that are brand new either act similar to other characters, and it's just... You know, it just feels like there's too many characters. I never thought I'd say that because SML used to be the king of having multiple characters for different videos, but now it's just... Most of these characters are not really that different from each other, and I feel like that's kind of what the Huckerdo family represents. The Huckerdo family could have been an interesting concept for the videos, but they just ended up blending in with the rest of the SML cast. But that's just my opinion on the Huckerdo family and the wasted potential these guys had. But what do you guys think? Do you like the Huckerdo family or not? Let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next video.
Peace out. Tell me why I'm stuck as a virgin with